Liz! Just a tick, I'm busy. Busy? What does he want now? Goodness knows. But if I know, I suppose... Look, if you're going to run up and down stairs every five minutes, we shall never get through. Why can't he work down here like he always does? Steams up his glasses. Oh, you know how Jeff hates wash day. And he can't eat it any more than what I do. Just look at it. Falling down. How are we going to get this lot out in that lot? I don't know. Especially with that drain blocked up in half the garden under water. Why don't you phone the council about it? Oh, now, George, you've got to be fair. You can't ask them to send men out in weather like this. Eh? Uh, have you unblocked it? No, hey there, mate. I haven't. Oh, do go and see what genius wants. You needn't sniff. I'm blocking that drain. It's a very ticklish business. The old garden is under six inches of water. Well, what do you want me to do? Send for Mike Nelson? Now, I suppose we're cut off from the back gate. No, no, I thought of a way around it. A way round? Yeah, you know that, that tabletop out in the back? No, no, no. I must give him credit. It was Eddie's idea, really. See, you see this film once and it had a flood in it. And there was a heroine, you see, and... He... Eddie! Yes, sir! Pack it in, son. The Contiki Expedition's all... Contiki Expedition. <laughs> Eddie, what have you been doing? Swimming? It is not coming down out there. Well, you brought most of it in here. <laughs> oh, what is he holding up there? A summit conference? <laughs> right. I'm sorry, Joyce, but that's the way it is. A man can put up with just so much. It is my living, you know. I know, dear. So what happens? I work downstairs, I get steamed out. I work upstairs, and I get the Chinese water torture. Only when it rains. Only when it... Listen, honey. Three months that roof has been leaking. Why can't we get it fixed? Because the landlord just won't do any repairs. The landlord? We never see the landlord. Oh, no, he's too crafty for that. Or we get the rent collector. Yeah, that little guy with a face like an out-of-work ferret. He's a great help. Well, I'll tell you this. I'm not putting up with that roof one minute longer. Jeff, I keep telling you, Mum is dealing with it. Mum, look, it needs a man to handle this. I'm not saying it against Mother, mind. I, I, I love your mother. She's only a woman. Now watch the trouble. <laughs> Oh, nothing at all, no. Yes, it is, Ma. That is driving me mad. That is saving my carpet. Which is more important, the carpet or my sanity? Don't answer that. You don't have to have that if you don't want it. I'm doing all my washing in a galvanized pail. You don't understand. It's affecting, it's affecting my work. I, I can't concentrate. You never can. Last week it was the traffic. Ah, oh, no, no, no. The traffic I can take. Interruptions, street noises, bangs, but I can't stand that terrible drip. What have I done now? <laughs> Here. Mum, I've just been in my room and there's a great number of plaster to come off the wall. You see, you see, the whole place is falling to bits around our ears, Ma. Something has got to be done. Something will be. Wait until he gets here and then I'll really let him have it. Who? That rent collector. He's coming up the street now. There's no rush. He always calls next door first. We'll have what's left over. <laughs> Oh, is it insurance? The rent. Lovely day. Yes. I don't know if Mum's in. I'll go and ask her. If you'd be so kind. Excuse me. <laughs> Lovely day you brought with you. Yes. Uh, look, can you leave me this week? My Sam's on short time and Mert's firm's on to try. Well... I'll give you two weeks next week. That's what she told me last week. Oh. Oh, look, I tell you what, call again in a fortnight. That'll make some money. Well, it's all right. Oh, our sink stopped up again. There's a floorboard gone in the passage. And could you look at the box here? Well, you know what he is about repairs. Yeah, but he sends round for his rent quick enough. Well done, he? Oh, I say, you got me shillings, you know, for the gas. You know. I know. No, I'm afraid I'm not. Sure, look. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, that's quite all right. Oh, well, thanks very much, then. Just a minute. What? How about change? What chilling? Oh, don't bother about that. Good morning. <laughs> Hello. Seen the missus? Yes. Lovely day. <laughs> You've got it to chuck about, ain't you? Now. Right, now don't fire to you till you see the white of his collecting book and stand well back. We don't want to scare him off. Pop, why can't we approach the landlord direct? No, Jeff, that would be dead unethical. No, we must go through the rent collector. <laughs> With a bulldozer? Shh, I'll lure him in. 
I've been waiting for you inside. <laughs> Lovely day. I suppose you've come for the rent. You've got a nerve you have that way. I've got something to show you. You showed it to me last week. Not this I never is in the cellar. Are the dry rot or toadstools at your breakfast? Yes. The roof is falling down. The plaster's coming down in my room. And two sash cords gone in ours. And when you've seen that lot, come out the back and bring your diving helmet. <laughs> Why, you poor little devil, you're soaking wet. You're having a bowl of hot soup down here. Oh, you. no, really. No I'm argument, right. Joy. Right, Mum. <laughs> oh, that's going to surprise him, getting a bowl of hot soup with his rent. Why, you... You don't mean she's going to pay him with the house in this state. Oh, that doesn't matter. No, no, Jeff. The rent must be paid regular. That's one of the cardinal rules. <laughs> rules? You talk as if this were some kind of a game. Well, I suppose it is, in a way. Yeah, the sportsmanlike cut and thrust of landlord and tenant. <laughs> well, tell me more, D'Artagnan. I'm, I'm just a tourist. Well, to start with, this is a very old house, see, and it's controlled. Controlled? Yeah, that means that the landlord can't up the rent. Well, that makes him mad for a kick-off, and that's one point to us. <coughs> it's right. And being a very old house, there's always something going wrong with it. <laughs> yes, I'd noticed. And that makes him madder still, because he has to keep on forking out for the repairs. Hmm. So there comes a time when he gets rather cheesed off, paying out more than he's getting in, so no more repairs. <laughs> so now we enter what is called the... Cold War stage, insulting letters, and beating hell out of the rent collector. <laughs> no, it's too old. Oh, sorry. Check. Well, this is where we came in. Now what happened? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, well, we have one trump card at the town hall. Now, if we call in the sanitary inspector and he issues what is called a notice, then the landlord has to have the work done. Well, that's came and rubber. What are we waiting for? Jeff, Jeff, you mustn't rush up the town all as fast as that. That'd be like an, an admission of defeat. Like asking the referee to stop the fight in the first round. So what do we do now? Well, we go up there in the end, of course. But you must play the game fair. Now, first of all, we threaten him with it. Come on, that rent collector should be dried off by now. Pop, what kind of an ogre is this landlord? Oh, as landlords go, he's not so bad. In fact, I think old Grimweed enjoys the fight as much as we do. I'll kill him. I'll murder him. I'll strangle him with my bare hands. Yes, Mr. Grimweed. So they're threatening me with the town hall again, are they? Those larkins, they live at the town hall. Yes, Mr. Grimweed. Oh, and Mrs. Prout said leave it till next week. I know. By the way, Earnshaw, you're a shilling short. Oh. Oh, that's all right. I'll uh, stop it out of your commission. Oh, thanks very much. Repairs. Arrears. I've had more trouble with those two houses than the rest of the property put together. Earnshaw, would you say that I was a mean man? Well, I wouldn't say it. What? No. <laughs> I've spent a fortune on those two houses. What have I got to show for it? Houses. Well, why don't you sell them? Occupied? Are you out of your mind? Who wants to buy property like that? Well, they might. as sitting tenants. Don't make me laugh. I did write a letter to both of them, offering the property at an absurdly low figure. Prout ignored my letter. This is Mr. Larkin's reply. That's not only disgusting, it's spelt wrong. What? <laughs> you could sue him for defamation. How? It's only what he says I must think he is. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Remember a man had a millstone round his neck? Two millstones. I'd give the property away, but who do I hate enough do we tenants like that on? <laughs> Earnshaw. Mr. Grimway. Please, Mr. Grimway. Ah, oh, shut up. Get me my solicitor. Yeah, get a move on. Earnshaw, you are to be the bearer of glad tidings. Hargreaves, <phone rings> Grimweed here. A little job for you. I want you to draw up a deed of gift. <laughs> Two deeds of gift. <laughs> That garden's still under water. I'm up at the town hall in the morning. In the morning? But we're not through the threatening stage yet. Oh, yes, we are. I'm fed up with this and I'm getting things moving. Ah, you're spoiling the old pattern. I'll spoil your old pattern in a minute. <laughs> the house in this state and you sitting there like Nero, fiddling. All right. 
After all, what do my principles matter? If you insist upon jumping the gun, so be it. Don't tell me we're getting something done at last. Just think, tomorrow night we sleep without the Max. It won't be as fast as all that, mate. The, the town hall doesn't wave a magic wand, you know. All it does is issue a notice. And by the time Grimweed and his builder have edged it about between them, it can take weeks. It had better not. Ah, it will, mate. You know what they are. Oh, for Pete's sake, I'll get a builder first thing in the morning, and I'll put the bill myself. Bravo! You'll do no such thing. Certainly not. You will create a precedent. I don't care, Pop. I want that roof fixed. Ah, uh, you were. Uh... <laughs> Very tricky things, roofs. You never know what you're going to find until you open one up. A job like that could run into hundreds of pounds. Okay, okay. I'll borrow a ladder and do the job myself. Do it yourself. Are you mad? The only thing you could do with a ladder is to fall off it. <laughs> I give up. Well, it stopped raining outside. Great. Great. Now maybe I can get some sleep. Good evening. <laughs> Good evening. Albert and true. And what have you come about? Don't be so rude, Al. This is a social call, isn't it? Well, no. Then what have you come about? Well, of course, you'll be hearing from Mr. Grimweed's solicitors. Yes, hey, solicitors. Uh, look, uh, that letter. Now, it was a forgery. I don't know nothing about it. Oh, do she... be quiet, Al. Now, what's it all about? Well, in a nutshell, this. He asked me to call on the parts next door and your good selves and give them the glad news in advance. Glad news? Uh, in consideration of your long and valued association with him, Mr. Grimweed is giving you the property. Oh, blimey. For one moment, I thought you... <laughs> Give it. Hold on, Pop. <laughs> but need a gift? Oh, it's all quite legal, but solicitors will explain. He can't do that! Right, <laughs> Don't let him... What?! <laughs> You're tired out of cup of tea, won't you? Oh, no, thanks. I think I'd better be getting next door and giving the glad news to them. Well, uh, I'll say goodbye. And may I wish you the best of luck. Oh, indeed you may. I shan't be calling again. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Please, give us the property. He has given to us the property. Stop out of it, Pop! We'll get solicitors! We'll fight this thing! Fight? Him and his deed of gift, we'll refuse it! Refuse it? <laughs> refuse? Well, of course! What do we want with a broken down wreck like this? Be quiet, you, 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 you! Subtenant! <laughs> Hours. Hours. Whole hours. What do you know about that? Our own house. Give to us. For nothing. Mind you, we've bought it three times over in rent. Yes. But it's a wonderful feeling. Yes, sort of glow in it, sort of creeping up all over you, Hater. This is ownership. Ownership. <laughs> I, I hate to burst this dream bubble of yours, but what about the repairs? Repairs? You're phoning the town hall in the morning, remember? <laughs> oh, I'd better have not do that now, had I? No, you better have not. <laughs> and the roof? Uh, the roof will be repaired, have no fear. Builders, hundreds of pounds? No, 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 don't talk wet a bit of that black stuff. It'll be as right as ninepence. Now, look, I'll tell you where you can borrow a ladder. Me? Oh, no, listen, Pop, you said that, that was before. <laughs> You go in there. I am going to bed. <laughs> Dad? Yes, sir. What about the plaster in my room? Tomorrow I shall buy you a trowel. Good night. Good night, Dad. <laughs> Al? Yes, my darling. Then there's that drain still blocked up. If it rains during the night, we are really in trouble. <laughs> yes. Eddie? Yes, Dad? Bring your Wellington boots and a torch. You've got a rush job on. <laughs> Where is everybody this morning? Eddie! Jeff doesn't want to go to this. <laughs> well, if Jeff wants to go on hunger strike, that's his lookout. Oh, there you are. Well, wake up, for heaven's sake. What is the matter with you? He's a 
couldn't do that gully unblocks it off past two. Oh, never mind. You did a wonderful job, and now everything in the garden is lovely. Not everything's not quick, Joyce. I the tea. Too late. Well, I have to pop over. I've just got my letter from the solicitors. You got yours yet? Well, I haven't seen the post, Eddie. Did you notice? No, you wouldn't. Is that it? I don't know. It's addressed to you. To me? So was mine. I mean, addressed to me. My family's furious. Oh, it's a bit unbusinesslike, but I can't see nothing to be furious about. You will. The house is in my name. Well, that's exactly... <laughs> in your name? No, no, no. Some mistake. Why should there be? That is exactly what I told Sam. The end what rocks the cradle, dear, yes, he, I think. Uh, do you mind... Yes, of course, there's a mistake. Look, they've even got the number of the house wrong. <laughs> These short horn typists. Oh, that's funny. Mine's got 266, a short sure number. And no one says 68. Oh, oh, they have made a mistake. Oh, no, they haven't. Solicitors don't make mistakes like this. Grim, we've done this deliberately, don't you see? Done what? Given you each other's houses. <laughs> but that makes you my landlord. Exactly. And you mine. <laughs> well, that's, that's all right, isn't it? I mean, we're friends, are we? Of course we are. And we're going to go on being friends, are we? Well, of course we will. Right. I'm also to take a crack at that roof. Don't touch it. That's the landlord's responsibility. <laughs> Yeah, I suppose so. Your mum owns it. It's a silly arrangement, isn't it? I don't know. It seems to work all right. You hold this end and this end does the cutting. Oh, well, is he not the chopper? I mean, your mum and my mum and his house mix up. Oh, that, I'm fed up with the old things. Well, I know. They're really serious about it. Yeah, I know. Your mum hasn't been in to borrow any tea off us for weeks. <laughs> she wouldn't know herself. We're getting Mrs. Smith opposite. Oh. Yeah. My mum. Uh, oh. oh, there you are. Morning, Mrs. Pratt. Good morning, Edward. What are you doing? I'm chopping wood. You can't do that there. But I've always done it here. Not anymore. You can't. You're like a ball of concrete. Eddie, have you finished chopping that wood? Hello. I suppose you know I could get in for willful damage. I suppose you know I could have her for trespass. It's my God. I'm renting it more the pity, Eddie. You crack her concrete and I'll crack you. <laughs> That's another debatable point. And while we're on the subject, you're not improving my fence by hanging on it. <laughs> it's half mine. It's my half you're hanging on. <laughs> hey! Don't you scrape my shed, you young hooligan. Don't you call him hooligan. Don't you shout at me, I'll have you evicted. On what ground? You owe me three weeks rent. You owe me five. How'd you make that out? You owe two and I took over. <laughs> I did. And what about my repairs? And what about mine? Please, can I fix the roof? No. Will you let me know if you come to some agreement? Yes. I'm up at the town hall in the morning. So am I. You wouldn't dare. Nor would you. Deadlock. Oh, dear, it always is. Oh, Angus, what are we going to do? I don't know. Hey, suppose we give them both back to Grimwing? He wouldn't have them. No, I don't know what we're going to do. No. Yeah, I've got it. The solution. Swap. Swap? Yeah, swap houses. They wouldn't let us, would they? Why not? They're yours. He's right. Eighty will go up to them lawyers this afternoon, right? Right. Oh, Eddie. Oh. Come to me in a flash. <laughs> oh, turn it up, Jeff. You look like a picket. What's the idea of the ovals? I bought them. I've hired the ladder, and I'm going to use them. Pop, can I please No, the you roof? can't. Okay. Sam, it's technically your roof. May I please repair it? Certainly not. When I do have it done, I'm going to have it done properly. You can mend your own if you like. Of course you would. Linking all over our bed. Oh, do sit down, Jeff. We wonder what's happening till Mum and Hedgie get back. That's oh, a phone. I think Eddie's got it. <laughs> Sam, just out of idle curiosity, which of your roofs has the worst leak? Oh, the one over there, same as yours. Our room, dear. I can't win, can I? <laughs> that was Mum. The swap's on. Right, get moving, Sam. Get the boys over. You and I will take the break. Uh, right, 
Eddie, the old stand Joyce. Now tell me what I want you to do now. Now you go. Where are you going, Jeff? I am going next door to repair our roof. Be careful. Come on, sir. Oh, this two-way traffic's going to be murder, isn't it? But I tell you this, Sam, the old changeover's got to be done before the girls get back. Eddie. Yes, Dad? That way. I got him on his legal procedure, I thought I should die. <laughs> <laughs> it all's well that ends well, I always say. Yes, and there's my own front door key to my own front door. <laughs> oh. What's that? That's not my old state. <laughs> no, it's not, it's mine. Hey, that picture. And look at that. Etty, am I going, Matt? No. No, of course I'm not. Where is he? Alfred! <laughs> <laughs> well, where is he? No, he's at the door. Finish, oh, finish. Oh, finish him all. Be quiet. Oh my love, what do you think of it? I can't tell you're not in front of the child. But you wait till I get you home. Oh, but Dad, I... don't you touch me. She's <laughs> demanding. Yeah. <laughs> my star, my love. And that, my love, is the lot. And there she stands. Lust with victory. What have you done with my furniture? Your furniture, my love, is next door in our new home. No home. Yeah, we changed everything over. That was right, wasn't it? Was it? <laughs> you mean you didn't swap? Well, of course we did, but not that way, you blithering idiot. We, we signed papers and transferred them to each other legally. Yes. <laughs> you mean this one is... Of course it is. And next door... Yes. But you said swap. <laughs> That's what we done. I didn't ask you to go play in Alvey, Alvey. But <laughs> if you say that you say... <laughs> Eddie. Oh, I know. She likes me. There you are. That's all the breakages. I know she likes me. Just... Yeah. <laughs> oh, I do now. She is my lily and my rose. Well, I've done it. I've done it. I've repaired our roof. Our roof. Our... <laughs> <laughs>